All right, for day is done. This is video number four. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put the whole song together. All right. Now, for the most part with the left hand, we are doing the same thing on both of these lines of music for the left hand. See, we have our G7 chord. Then you have your C chord. And then once we get here, we rest, rest for three beats. And then we do the G7 again. And then we do the C to end. All right. That's for your left hand. Now for your right hand, we have a little difference at, and the only difference is the last note. So in measure four, we ended with an E. See this note on the E line is dotted half note. Well, we're going to do the same things again uh, in measures five, six, and seven that we did in measures one, two, and three. However, instead of ending with E, right here we're going to end with middle C. Okay, so that's the only difference that we have. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go ahead and play this slowly. We're going to do five uh, consecutive times. Remember, our focus is to get to the point where we're able to play this five times perfectly with no mistakes, okay? So whenever you make a mistake, any mistake, where you play a wrong note or you play at the wrong time, you will need to start over to the very first time and do it five times correctly. You don't leave this video until you're able to play this video the five consecutive times along with me and you do it correctly. All right, so let's do number one. One, set, go. This number one. One. Set. Go. Number three. Number four. Right, and the fifth and final time. Follow the blue cursor, okay? Set. Focus on the blue Go. cursor. All right, remember, you don't leave this video until you are able to play just like I did all five times. No mistakes, uh, no wrong notes, 
not playing at the wrong time, all right? Play it perfectly five consecutive times. If you mess up one time, you start over to the very first time, and you do the whole process again until you're able to play it five consecutive times all the way through, all right? Now, we're going to get you ready. This video, rather, gets you ready for the final video, the fifth video. We are going to play it a little faster. We're going to play it at what we call performance tempo, okay? So in the fifth video, we're going to learn how to play it if you're playing this for the recital or a recital, okay? <laughs> 